You are officially 7 degrees north. Breaking news. Please share, subscribe, and continue to sow good seed. We appreciate you. Breaking news. Art gallery repping Hunter Biden received 500K in federal COVID loans record state. A federal COVID loan to the art gallery repping Hunter Biden more than doubled after his father took office records show. The George's Burgess Gallery initially received 150,000 COVID disaster assistance loans from the SBA last year according to public records but the loan was recently revised with the SBA approving a further 350,000 to the Soho Gallery this summer records show more on Hunter Biden White House throws up its hands at new questions on Hunter Biden's art scam raking it in Hunter Biden nabs 375k for five art prints as NYC showed delays Saki pressed on Hunter Biden art sales as Joe nominee Garcetti seen at gallery show what Facebook whistleblower really wants more censorship for conservative views the approval came on July 26th in the lead up to Burgess exclusive marketing of 15 paintings by the president's scandal scarred son public records show in addition to the COVID disaster assistance loans the Soho gallery received nearly 80,000 in two payments in April 2020 and February 2021 under the SBA paycheck protection program funds meant to help Businesses keep up with paychecks to employees during the pandemic. All told, 580000 in taxpayer-funded COVID relief aid was doled out to a gallery with only two employees, according to SBA records. Burgess declined to specifically respond to repeated queries from the Post on whether the Bidens interceded in his loans if any of the government cash went directly to Hunter Biden as a salary or stipend or if any of it was used to market his own artwork. I received my PPP loan in April of 2020 when Donald Trump was president, along with countless other galleries, which, considering a global pandemic was happening, we had every right to. Most galleries received this loan, Burgess told the Post in an email. We were not unique. While there is no evidence President Biden helped secure the additional 350000 loan, a watchdog group found that of the more than 100 galleries in New York City, 10th Congressional Congress, which includes Soho, Tribeca, and Chelsea, the George's Bergen Gallery received by far the largest SBA disaster loan windfall. We've reached a new low in American politics where the president's son gets his midlife crisis art career subsidized by the American people as part of our pandemic response to COVID, said Tom Anderson, director of the Government Integrity Project at the National Legal and Policy Center. The Virginia-based organization this week submitted a complaint to the SBA questioning the taxpayer-funded loans to the gallery and noting the discrepancy in the size of its loans when compared to other local galleries. You can't make this up, Anderson said, adding that funds from the federal loans could have been used to promote Biden's work, a possible ethical breach. This is a unique situation in which the president's son is directly benefiting from federal loans made to a third party, he said. So we're just thanking the New York Post here and Burgess 45 told the Post that he met Biden through collectors in Los Angeles two and a half years ago and that has helped 
the largely self-taught and once drug-addicted entrepreneur turned his abstract expressionist painting from a hobby to a full-time job. And he held a private viewing for 200 celebrities in Los Angeles and Biden nominees for Ambassador to India, for Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, a lot of people high profile were there, which priced between 75000 and 500000 So we believe this is a piece of the artwork of Hunter Biden. And uh, you can get a good look at it here. And before we go, we'd like you to share, subscribe, and continue to sow good seed.